little khaki sitting there. Look at little khaki. Don't show the khaki in the video. <laughs> Get the... <laughs> You're sick. Poor stinky puma. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Stuff out. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so that's one. Oh, that's enough. Oh. Lovely, lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Now, I'm going to put it onto this. See? Pretty messy. Now we're going to put it onto here. Uh, I think it's three drops. Hold on. Okay, like this. So, four drops of this smelly poo. One, two, three, four. That's it. Now we have lunch. <laughs> Ten minutes. And it's starting to look. You can see it coming up here. Look. See down the bottom here? It's starting to uh, soak the paper. See here? So that means it's, it's uh, diffusing up the paper. Uh, Tel Aviv to, to uh, Echelov to do a, a breath test. And the breath test is still not going to be so accurate, you know. It also detects if you have fungus or you have candida. And it, this, and it looks like it's coming up with H. pylori. It's not always tr the case, you know. Whereas this is in the stool. And it's detecting the antibody of the H. pylori in your stool. It's far more, it's accurate. You know? Oh my god. Elan, you have H. pylori. You can see the red line, look. I just want to show you, this is the signs here that you have a red line and a green line. And you can see, if you only a green line, then you don't have it. If you have red and green, it's positive. You have two lines. If you have only the green line, then it's invalid. So you have H. pylori.